Do you want my breakdown? Um. Yet. E- <laughs> Oof. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I think that. Wait, wait, wait! Before we get into yeah. the breakdown, was this yeah. about as exact as you thought it would be, or is this more precise yeah. than you thought it'd be? Really? Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. I think this right. is I mean, very precise. I think so. Really? Yes. No. So okay. The the so guideline the on clothing that it should be like mall appropriate. That is, that's quite precise. I think, maybe. The basis. Uh huh. Of of why I say that. Uh huh. Is because it is still entirely subjective what they quote deem to be hateful or sexually oh suggestive. that's that's not true though i don't know if you saw the link but they've they've defined now you could argue that there's some subjectivity in here but like here's a very clear list hateful conduct is any content that or activity that promotes encourages or facilitates discrimination denigration objectification harassment or violence based on the following characteristics race ethnicity national origin religion sex sexual orientation age disability medical condition physical characteristics or veteran status that's fine. I think they just copied the U.S. protected classes, but <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's still entirely dependent on their moderators, is what I'm saying. So, um, so yeah, sure. they can, they're they're allowing themselves the room to um, how do I how do I word this? They're doing what every corporation should do, right? They're 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 allowing themselves the room to dictate if those things violate their policy or not, and they're using that very specifically in their wording. Sure. That, that's what the wording we deem to be hateful means. Yeah, that, sure. That means you, you could say something about someone's national origin, religion, sex, gender, um, and they'll pass it because they think it – just for whatever reason they want, mm-hmm. right? Um, so, so my opinion on this right, – so, so, here's, so here's the kind of overall. I, I think the hateful conduct thing is much more well-defined, but I still think we're going to have the same problem with sexually suggestive stuff. Because maybe the rules are not at all different from what they were before. I mean, like they explicitly mentioned camera angles, like. But but they did that before. Like I the, know. the community guidelines I, before were were we don't accept sexually the suggestive content. Yeah, but I could be wrong, change. but I don't think they literally said camera angles in that definition. No, they, but but what does it matter that they like they're they're, they're saying the 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 end effect is the same. The end effect is so, they judge if I don't I don't want to like name drop because I don't know if that's allowed or not. But like there are streamers that have know. yeah there are streamers that have camera angles like we'll have like three cameras set up or one on the, the boobs yeah one on the butt one yeah. on the like that are very clearly like but I don't think that's something that was like called out in the rules before ever. I, I guess not specifically, but just do you, so here's what I would ask you: uh-huh. like, Do you think that by specifying the camera angle? That, that that's somehow well, or, or by specifying that we're looking at camera angles in that sentence or let's look at the sentence or what they said mm-hmm. um so this the sentence said uh okay we'll be looking at contextual elements such as stream title camera angles emotes panels attire overlays and chat moderation do you think that by that that sentence in of itself um is going to result in a different yes. outcome. So here, so okay, some, why? so here's something like reading that. So the vague rules before you could have some stuff. So here's a picture. Stuff like this, I don't think will fly now. Using really? this definition, I don't think so. But I guess we'll we'll find out. But like because like, would, how, oh, would you consider her to be wearing? I mean, she could wear that outside. It's not. It's not a matter of what's being worn. It's the camera angle. Like, got it. I, I think, I, but but who knows? I mean, I guess maybe you could argue there's still some level of subjectivity. But, but, but that that same streamer has messaged Twitch before and gotten pretty uncertain results. Sure, on that, right? but now but now yeah. we have the new community guidelines going forward. So so so, oh, okay. So let's take um. So so okay. Let's just like let me do this for chat. I'm not going to mention the streamer. Yeah. Um. What we're discussing right now is like uh, he just linked me an image. That we can't link it, obviously, dudes, because like we don't want to like we don't want to get fucked on Twitch by mentioning other streamers. But this is a this is a picture of one of the broadcasters in IRL that is um, like a, an obviously sexually suggestive pose, right? So um, it when sh- when this when she messages Twitch now, do you think Twitch sends her a message back and says you absolutely can't do this due to our new community guidelines, or or are they still gonna like sit and like? What I'm trying to think about is like what 
has changed in the culture of Twitch that the admins and mods are going to act differently than they have before. Well, the idea is that the new community guidelines push them towards acting in a different way. But but it's possible that nothing changes, I guess. This is all kind of... I just, I don't see, like, so they can post this stuff and they can, and, like, I guess the only hope that they really have would be if the interpretation by the streamers is such that they don't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. But unless it actually has active moderation... Yeah, um, no, yeah, it has to be enforced, yeah. you're right, yeah. Right, so that that requires a cultural change at a corporate level, um, which is what I have real concerns about. Mm-hmm. Because I think Twitch is very—it's very difficult in in Twitch's ecosystem right now to do that, um, particularly with like the influx of like Amazon people and, and like just a different—it's just a very different culture there. This is like a really different discussion, but yeah. Um, the scariest thing for me, I think I know it. Uh, okay, is. Uh, that they are now going to be enforcing their oh. terms of service as a matter of course off the platform. Yeah. So this is something That's that terrifying. I actually vehemently disagree with. Um, like, yeah, I am same. not, and like, because he, so this is this is very interesting. Okay, and I wouldn't want to rock the boat here. Have Have you ever heard of um, you know how people will pay ten ninety nines to cheat people out of wait? Or, or I'm not bringing up anything you've done personally, but you're familiar with this, right? <laughs> sorry, or that uh, that sounded. Wait, wait, what, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. You're familiar. You know you cheat on your taxes? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not trying to say that you've done this or that we've like that 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 I know that like uh, right. That, that's not the important thing. But, like you're familiar with like the whole ten ninety nine versus W two debacle, right? Uh, well, can you clarify? Like what? That if I, that what I if I that some people will have employees that if you have an employee you should have them W two'd. You should. Be, oh, this is a big esports meme. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, it's not. Well, yeah, no, no, yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's not unique to esports. It's a very, very real, real world meme. Uh, but but yeah, esports is dealing with it as well, right? Now, if I yeah. work for a company, okay. And I have branding that you tell me or can I cannot use. I've got very specific content guidelines that I must follow. Um, and now you're starting to tell me how I can or cannot act off platform. I feel like you're starting to move into areas where I want you to W2 me. I need you to cover half of my FICA. If you're going to start telling me how I have to conduct myself off platform, I don't feel like a contractor anymore that should be getting paid via 1099. I think you need to W2 me. Do you think there's an argument that you could make there? Uh, so morally, yes. <laughs> morally, well, not even morally. Like we could go by the IRS. The IRS has like a twenty point guideline for like W two versus um, ten ninety nine that they check to make sure that you're not like. Screwing. I know, but it's tough, man, because the that's counteracted by the fact that you're you are everything that Twitch does mm-hmm. and, and, and everything that you do on Twitch is a a, a function of them hosting this platform. Right. Um, yeah, but okay, like when so it starts let, to get me, when it starts to get to a point where you've got a contract that says that you can't provide your services to somebody else simultaneously, right? Which a lot of people have. That these are really big checkpoints for like so, whether. So that's a really different discussion because it's my opinion that that is not enforceable in court, especially in places like California. And, and, well, but it doesn't uh, matter if it's enforceable in court. It's the idea that Twitch could fire you. Well, well, Twitch will kick you off their platform if you violate that contract. So if you're trying to get people to <clears throat> not compete mm-hmm. in contract, I think that's I think that is I think if a broadcaster or a group of broadcasters really wanted to, like an influencer organization, Ooh. they could fight that. Is that is that con- Hold on, I'm trying to think. Is that cons- Okay, hold on. You know more about this shit than I do. Is it considered a non-compete when it's an ongoing relationship? I thought that non-competes were things that were like after our services have ended, you have to wait a period in time to compete. I thought that's what a non-compete was considered. It depends on the state, but but um, in this is such a convoluted issue, right? Yeah. Because you're not exactly an employee of like this is the whole problem we're discussing is you're not exactly an employee of Twitch. In fact, you're not an employee of Twitch. Sure. You're utilizing their platform and you're making income off of it. But that's not the the way that this would be legally regarded. We've had a lot of problems with this um, in in the past in gaming. Um, the way that this would be legally regarded is in the same way that like if you were if Twitter was to uh, or, or, or Facebook was to ban you for something that you did on another platform, it is it is their right to do that. Um, even if you are making income off of Facebook or, or you can justify that because it's their platform. 
But 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 again, the laws on this are not well updated. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying we, to imagine working as like a 1099 contractor because 1099 work is typically contract work. Say I say I want to work for a carpet cleaning company or a construction company or a carpenter company. That if if I wanted to work as a carpenter for some company, if you were to tell me, hey, by the way, like um, you know, if you go to work for somebody else or if you're doing something like off hours, like could you imagine? I don't know if you ever done contract work, but could you imagine as a contractor if the if the company that's contracted you is telling you how to conduct yourself when you're not working for them like and you're not on the site or anything like that's a very weird relationship there with a 1099 employee you know it is when you word it that way but let's use another example where uh -huh. um if i contract a consultant yeah to um to do business and and let's say he um does consulting for my my vps mm -hmm. and wants and wants that uh, and, and the idea is it doesn't matter what he's trying to accomplish but sure. um let's say that person then goes out on social media and makes a total fool of themselves, right? I don't want that person to represent my company it, uh, because of that. It's well within my right to fire that person or to remove that person entirely or to, to disavow everything because that person's conduct outside of my company or my platform was such. And that's what Twitch is saying here is, is um, so, so, so the easiest way to kind of like rewind here is to try to figure out why twitch is doing this why like what what benefit do, do they have as a company um to to be able to do this and, and my and my thinking is if i if i'm thinking like um like like a c or vp level person mm -hmm. i'm thinking that i want to maximize my enforceability um and my control over uh my broadcasters so that if I have a situation where I'm getting pressure from sponsors or I'm getting pressure economically somehow um, that because a broadcaster is doing a ton of crazy shit but then deliberately making their Twitch um, PC because it's like the main source of their income or whatever, I would want the ability to remove that person from my platform to be able to appease those sponsors. That is my thinking as to why they're yeah, doing Yeah, I agree. That's just really fucking cancerous. Holy shit. I really don't like that. I understand that it's like, we kind of talked about this yesterday, like the way moving forward is through advertiser pressure, but man, that sounds real shitty. No, I mean, like, this really fucking sucks. Yeah. Because um, cause here, here's where this goes wrong, okay? So that's that's the... That interpretation is the most, um, what's the word? I guess like uh, business favoring. Uh -huh. But here's what actually happens. What actually happens is that a moderator or an admin uses that justification to see a message that you posted on Facebook that's about some um, that, that, that they deem as, as racial, right? And then gives you an indefinite fucking ban, indefinite ban on yeah. your first warning because of that right so 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 we're we're looking at a situation where it's not going to be the vps of twitch that are this is what really worries me it's not the vps of twitch that are enforcing this it's not the high level guys that came up with this it's the fucking moderators that are volunteers right sure. that are, that are going to be judging broadcasters and if you get an indefinite ban um or I here's mean, like, like how does that get here's like sad. a thing did you see um i think uh some editor of a bbc did a small article about booby streamers on twitch that i was tapped for commentary for did you ever hear about this i on the bbc yeah i did read that i read that article yeah so like yeah is, is that could i get banned for doing that now because I'm because I'm pretty sure I name drop in that article. So does this mean that like if I let's say that I have a grievance with a certain streamer on Twitch, I never I can't I don't know if I can say that on Twitch anymore because that might be bannable. You can't say it on the Twitch subreddit. So does this mean that if I post about this on my Reddit or if I give an interview with another company where I air a grievance with somebody, is this harassment now? Yes, it does mean that. Yeah. That's exactly so like what if means. I give a comment like that in that article, that article released in you know past February nineteenth, that would be considered like targeted harassment of another streamer off platform. Like this like. Uh, that's really it, weird to me. Like I can it, never it have would, these conversations be, anymore. You would be grandfathered in this case, right? So you, there is, there's no way that that would actually. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, that. But I'm that, saying, like, going yeah. forward, like, if there is a problem that I have with the type of content of a certain streamer, I can never, I can't talk about this anymore. And not, I can't talk about it on Twitch. I can't talk about this anywhere. I can't talk about it on Twitter. Well, obviously, I can't talk about it on Facebook. I can't talk about it on YouTube. I can't bring it up anywhere anymore because now off-platform stuff is. Only paid staff can ban accounts. That is incorrect. That's factually incorrect. I have. I, there are many volunteers that I personally know who regularly enforce and ban streamers, including large streamers. 
Uh, if it's a large enough streamer, it has to be reviewed by a paid staff member, but uh, volunteers can ban accounts and often do. Um, to your point, yeah, that's what it means. I mean, that's literally what it means. I, I think it's – and not – so here's the real thing though, right? Mm -hmm. Not only do I think that's the case, but I also think that it's going to be enforced that way. That's the real problem it, it, it is like I, I think like in that same situation where they catch you doing an interview with like a BBC article and it causes them enough uh, grief or someone gets <laughs> triggered or whatever happens. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think in that instance, they do ban you under that justification. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Jeez. Yeah. So it's. Yeah, I don't like that off plat. I didn't like it. A lot of people are saying this is the world you created. I've always been against off platform shit. Um, I don't think so. I could be wrong, and maybe people lied about this, but I think when Gross Score caught his six or twelve month ban, uh, the two warnings leading up to that were for off platform harassment because he was tweeting. Um, oh, right. Yeah, I, I wrote that actually in my in my notes. Is that um, the it was the the, the kind of the, the hate stuff that they have here? They had already banned yeah. that before. Yeah, and I shit. vehemently disagree with that. I am a contractor of Twitch. They pay me via ten ninety nine. I do not work for the company. Like the idea that. I don't know. I'm not comfortable with that, that they, they, they have control over what I can say off platform. That just, if I, even if I was an employee, I wouldn't be comfortable with that. Yeah. I could be a little bit more understanding, but as a contractor, um, oof, I really don't like that idea. Uh, I don't know. The problem is that this gets to such a weird legal gray area where, um, what you're, you have the, uh, 20 point system up. Let's, let's look at that. Does, does does any of that seem to like suggest that this these changes? Um, uh, maybe would, oh, I'm not would, sure. Would put, I don't know. Um, I mean, we can go through it, but this is kind of a separate good. thing. I was kind of reading through them. I guess it probably not. I guess for most of these twenty points, it wouldn't. But yeah. Um, Do you want I'm, to... I'm reading. I'm oh, reading on your oh so the first yeah. one would be: um, Must the individual take instructions from your management staff regarding when, where, and how work is to be done? Um, I mean, where and how is definitely specified. Uh, yes, where it has to take place on Twitch TV. They, they don't have... tell you where. They don't. Oh, they don't tell you when to stream. They don't. Tell they don't tell you, you when, but they they talk about what like. What would how mean? Yeah, I don't know. I guess a lot of these are kind of subjective, intentionally so, right? right the IRS. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, the IRS was subject to use these. Um, Actually, a lot of these are, if we just go through these real quick, uh -huh. like, um, does this individual receive training from your company? Yes, they do do that. Uh, that can be justified. Is the success or continuation of your business dependent on the type of service? Yes. Must the individual personally perform the contracted services? Yep. Have you hired supervised or paid individuals to assist the worker in completing the project? Absolutely. There's a whole partnership team. Um, is there a continued relationship between the company and the individual? Yep. Um, must the An exclusive set... relationship, oftentimes. Yeah. Yeah, exclusive. Must the individual set work hours? No. Um, is the individual required to work full time at your company? No. no. Uh, but if you want to be successful, yeah. <laughs> is yeah. the work performed on company premises? No. I, individual... I don't know in a digital world if that counts, it, that the work has to be performed on Twitch TV or if that matters. Uh, I don't know. But, but, yeah. but we'll say no. We'll say no to be. But go ahead, number 10. Is the individual required to follow a set sequence or routine in the performance of their work? Mm, not necessarily no. probably not yeah yeah um should the individual give you reports regarding their work no um are they paid by the hour week or month um monthly no because the, 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 well, well that that specifically refers to hourly work I yes think, which yeah is if you if you get yeah. paid if you get paid hourly i think you have a stronger argument for being a w2 versus if you pay them like by a month or by a job right yeah yeah do you reimburse the individuals for business travel expenses? Many large broadcasters do get that benefit mm -hmm. directly from Twitch. Uh, do, do you supply the individual with uh, needed tools and materials? Absolutely. Have you made a significant investment in facilities? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. Is the individual free from suffering a loss or realizing a profit? But can you scroll down because this is on your webcam? Oh, sorry. Um, is the individual free from suffering on. a loss or realizing a profit based on his work? individual free from a suffering a loss or realizing a profit based on that i don't understand that so basically what it's saying is that like do i do you contract me to do a work for fifty thousand dollars or do you contract me to do work and then the success or failure of that work will influence how i get paid so the answer is no you're not free from loss you you the, the quality of your work very much determines how much you are paid if that makes sense i think right right yeah yeah, yeah it does okay does the individual only perform services for your company? Yes. Which and that, by the way, is probably the most. The if you that's were, a huge if one. The exclusive. Go, 
Yeah, if you're actually to go legal with this, that would be the one that they would look at most relevantly, I think. Yeah. Um, does the individual limit the availability of their services to the general public? Yes. Isn't that another form of exclusivity? Is yes. that how that's referred? To? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have the right to discharge the individual? Yes. Um, and may the individual terminate their services at any time? Yes. But but 18, 19 and 20 are, are, are state laws for most states. You you, you have to mm -hmm. give mutual termination rights. Um, it's fucking crazy if you don't have those because it's like indentured servitude. So for well over half of the relevant uh, 20 points, it is, it's considered... Probably in favor of being a W-2? Yeah. Yeah, I think the I think the thing that hurts the most is the exclusivity. That's a pretty big one, I think. Um. Yeah, and that is something. Okay, so that's a big issue because financially, it is extremely advantageous to Twitch to have that in place, of and course. extremely disadvantageous to every the streamer. broadcaster. Yeah, and 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 more importantly, well, I'd say. Uh, uh, more importantly, it makes this sound like they're on a higher... Well, fuck it. They are on a higher tier. Um, uh, uh, organizations and influencer groups that, that have the largest broadcasters, right? So Yeah, you lose all um, your leverage. You lose all your leverage, but you also lose actual objective revenue. I yeah. Mean, you, you, like a, a massive amount, not just... But I'm not even talking about revenue from um, like uh, the extra donations and shit you would get. I'm talking about the media deals, mm -hmm. right? Like the, the amount that Facebook or YouTube would pay you to actually just exist on that platform is massive. Yeah. Um, so allegedly. So, so, so the, um, so, so, so that, so, so it has been my opinion that that has always been something that if, I, I feel like it would take someone like, are you familiar with Loda GG? <laughs> yeah, I know Loda. Through Richard yeah. Lewis, yeah. Loaded is like the guys that manage like every big broadcast. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying Loda. My bad. You're, oh, you're, no, no, no. You're talking about Lo the big... Loaded. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, they're the biggest influencer agency on Twitch yet. Like, nobody knows who they are, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I think if they have Lyric, they have... Pretty, pretty much every, like, massive streamer, I think, is, like, yeah. under. Yeah. Um, if they were to do a, like... I think if they were to bring a lawsuit to Twitch under these terms i'm pretty sure twitch would lose mm -hmm. with the, with the current interpretation of their rules yeah um, but twitch and i'm pretty sure well i don't want to get into specifics never mind go ahead and then there's another point let me write this to you real quick too um well i was gonna say I, I know that you can't speak um like directly but I, I mean i would guess that twitch probably pays some sort of incentive to these people to remain on twitch right i would imagine so that that might be a thing uh, it would be very fair to assume that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. because because yeah. otherwise they would say fuck it. Yeah, because because based on the people that I've talked to, I've heard people say things. I've heard multiple people that I respect say things along the lines of, "I would gladly give up all my Twitch subs to not be restricted to the platform," or or the people that work under me. Like we would easily throw away all of our Twitch subs for the ability to simulcast, like without even a second thought that people would do that. Yeah. Well, because because. Um these platforms that are trying to get more viewership mm -hmm. have such an enormous disadvantage if they're not paying other broadcasters top rate yeah. to be there um, because the because it's just so hard to organically build a new platform when Twitch basically solves all of the problems. Like Facebook and YouTube are not introducing any kind of USP that is like um, significant enough that someone would that a viewer would say I will switch my platform for this right mm, like even maybe. YouTube that offers the, the YouTube tech offers side of YouTube like, is so it, good it, though but it doesn't matter dude like to the viewer like that's something that you like look at I don't like, know like, I don't think a viewer like says like oh I want to like I want to watch this in 4K and like that matters to me right mm, maybe I don't know I'd be curious to try it out one day I remember a year ago I watched a CS:GO thing on YouTube and it blew my fucking mind I thought I was watching the game it was at like 15 megabits per second and it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen and this happened on Twitch like a uh, half year ago where some Koreans I think were streaming like um, some horror game and they were streaming yeah. at like 9 megabits per second and it was a huge deal they got like 6,000 views and I think they were like no name people but they got like high 4 digit views from a lot of people just stopping in to check out like the amazing stream quality or whatever um I don't know, but really? but maybe that yeah yeah. It's enough of a well, so my my question would be if it's enough of a competitive advantage for people to consider switching platforms, why haven't they? Well, no no no, I don't know if it's enough. I'm just saying it is a USP that exists, but but it might not be enough to bring someone over. You would need more than that, right? Well, that's that's essentially so. My original statement was uh -huh. like 
I, I feel like there isn't a platform in existence right now that offers a compelling enough co- yeah. advantage for people to switch off Twitch. And so for that reason, mm-hmm. those 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 companies are heavily incentivized to pay broadcasters to be on their platform because they don't have that advantage. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Otherwise, they would pay for it, right? Sure, they yeah, yeah. pay for it. Yeah. yeah, if Facebook was objectively so much better than Twitch, they didn't have to pay broadcasters. Well, they certainly would not But again, that. keep in mind some of, the, some, of the, some of these unique selling points aren't necessarily related to the tech tech or anything but it's just what is there um kind of going back to the discoverability if twitch and youtube both had you know five million people five million viewers like looking at every single stream i think youtube would be doing a lot better but the but the thing is that like all of the viewership already exists on twitch so it doesn't really matter what youtube has to offer in terms of technology like but that's what i'm saying is uh-huh. that it, like it, you could have a, a better platform yeah, better yeah, yeah. Technology, but it wouldn't but be enough to bring someone over you'd have to pay them because twitch has had all that time to be able to organically grow their platform from the beginning and they were first to market right uh-huh. there yeah. is one other thought to think of is that if destiny moves oh, to uh youtube how many new people could he pick up that don't know of him he could probably take over a large percentage of his twitch audience and then get exposed to a shitload of people that never knew about him it's possible yeah there because there are new viewers on youtube that don't exist on twitch that is a thing yeah I, I, I guess I don't see that that's relevant to like what I was just saying, which yeah. is like that these these platforms have to these platforms have to pay people because they don't have a competitive advantage to do otherwise. Yeah, and it's hard to get off of the Twitch Prime. There has to be a real fucking reason. No, no, no. It's not the new Twitch Prime. It has to do no. discoverability. Let's say, for instance, that I was doing like yeah. a really special event. Let's say that I was going to bring Tyler One on my stream or some shit, right? And I wanted to stream. I'm never doing that on YouTube because if I do a Tyler One stream, a, Ty- a Tyler One Duo Q bot lane stream on YouTube, maybe I get like. 15,000 viewers and it, that's really cool if I do it on Twitch that's like 150, 200, 500,000 whatever fucking viewers right it's way 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 more I would never ever host a special event or do anything special like on YouTube I would always do that on Twitch because there's going to be way more discoverability or way more organic traffic coming through uh, Twitch streams than I would ever have on a YouTube stream yep so this this overall just pose so so all of that kind of filters into the fact that it makes Twitch able to do things like this, right? So I, I'm mm-hmm. actually I'm a huge huge fan of competition, and I yeah, if there's one thing that I could <laughs> if I could if I could center one thing around the biggest problem with Twitch, and I've said this for like a couple years, it's that they don't have competition. Yeah, and so it allows them to do like. Do you think that they would be able to? Um, be so draconian in their enforcement policies if there was a competing platform that people no. would say, fuck you guys. No like, well, I'm just going to go. Yeah, there's absolutely Look no at when, like, Owned and Twitch existed together, dude. They, the, the amount of feature rollouts and shit from both platforms was fucking insane. Like, yep. Twitch hardcore fixed their CDN shit. That, Twitch was unwatchable in Europe. A lot of people don't remember this. Um, the, You know, the chat improvements were massive. The addition of the emotes and different chat features, I mean, there was a lot. If you look at, like, the past, like, three years of Twitch, if you're a broadcaster, like, what big updates have they done that have been really good for you like aside i like the twitch prime stuff is cool but in terms of like features i mean like the data cap finally got lifted from 3.5 to 6 which is still like one third of what you can do on youtube well what's kind of crazy about it is when you could cons- <laughs> when you consider that fact against the fact that twitch has expanded their staff like ten thousand people employees yeah and, and they have the backing of the, the largest company in the world right like mm-hmm. that, that w- with massive blade servers that fucking yeah. like, like just unimaginable fucking technology and, and 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 yet all of that has like equated to like bits uh, yeah. like yeah, like like it's it's a it's a competition problem. Oh yeah, I and, would definitely and, agree with that. Yeah, and this is gonna get worse until someone addresses it. And and the real big meme is like I don't. So so about a year or two years ago, mm-hmm. when Facebook and YouTube started to like actually be a thing, um, a thing in the I, video I, delivery market. Uh, uh, live streaming market. Yeah. yeah so okay, so yeah. I'm. I, I just the, the problem is like I'm. I'm under NDA for some of this. So sure. so um, some some of the companies that were coming up, mm-hmm. they uh, they um, became more public. Just like have to word this really slowly because I'm not sure. Like let me be careful here. Um, they started talking to other people about um what they were doing and what their plans were. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and in doing so, it's scared a couple of people um 
at Twitch who were suddenly like, oh shit, like um, these guys exist now, right? Um, here are their plans, and like they, they they have a these are these are respectable people with a lot of funding um, that are gonna try to uh, create a live streaming platform that, that's competitive. And, and this was different from before, where where nobody ever really took Azubu seriously, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember. Like 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 everybody kind of knew that that there was a lot of kind of like weird shit going on. Um, so so people said, yeah, there's other platforms. Like, what was there at the time? There was like Hitbox. There was like a Zubu. Yeah. There was like, um, but nobody was taking these platforms seriously, right? Uh -huh. um, so 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 now, um, all of a sudden, people start to look at these new these these new competitors, and they're like, oh shit, these could legitimately provide a threat to Twitch. And for about six months, Twitch got really scared and, and started to roll out changes quickly um th th that they thought would stop the uh the the, the uh, sort of like train sorry again why i'm talking so slowly is because i have to really think about what i'm saying here um and then what happened is those platforms didn't meet their deadlines mm -hmm. and they didn't produce the results that they said in the time frames that they had so so now it feels like twitch is much more comfortable in their sort of dominant position on top and that's exacerbated by the backing of amazon yeah that that if that if anything really went wrong um amazon would just either buy the shit i mean there's or or, or just like um and, and so so amazon lost on the youtube front so they so they're um they're very dramatic about their uh, live streaming business because mm -hmm. they, they, they've been trying to fire up uh, what the what the hell is that if you're a prime subscriber is amazon video is that what it's called um i mean yeah i can watch so, amazon so, prime video yeah yeah so, so they're trying to fire that up as a competitor to youtube and they're even paying content creators to be on it and it has some statistic growth but not nothing like even remotely close to what youtube has right so they're not really close on that front, so just about the only market that they need to corner is live streaming. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so they have huge incentives, right? And because of that, it feels like a lot of people at Twitch are very comfortable with the, the status quo right now. Yeah. I think this gets a lot worse before it gets better. I and mean, I think the only thing that really shakes it up is competition. Yeah, if that's even possible. Um, telling brought this up is actually kind of ironic that all of the a lot of the big new features that we've seen in Twitch were actually spurred on by like tangential competition. So, for instance, we got bits because of people like um, Streamlabs, probably right, and we got clips because of people like Oddshot. You know. Yeah, and the teams behind those um, initiatives had mm -hmm. very different objectives than the previous teams did so so once twitch was acquired by amazon yeah you had a lot of teams that were devoted specifically to monetizing the platform mm -hmm. in the interest of those type of things right um versus like the tw the original twitch engineers and like twitch people were were doing so because they were trying to improve the platform from like a uh community standpoint so so the entire culture as to why they implement changes on twitch has changed mm-hmm I would um, be very concerned <laughs> if, I, if I were building a career on this platform at this point. Well, I mean, I, most uh, people will be okay. It's just it just kind of sucks. Yeah. No, I don't know, man. Um, I I think where a lot of regular streamers get caught is in this um, harassing other streamer shit. It's really common to talk to about other broadcasters on your broadcast and, and yeah. i think like where does uh so the the, the disrespect dr disrespect tyler one stuff let's let's go or dr disrespect um, summit yeah 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 there you go so that is that's um that's in character banner i don't know if most people know that like so summit and dr disrespect know each other really well and all, all that is not true um they do it because it's like kind of fun for the viewers where's the line now Right. Obviously, they're never going to ban Doctor Disrespect. He's way too important to the platform, uh, which, which again is a problem with this fucking thing in and of itself. But, um, but, but, uh, where does that draw the line between like, what if I start broadcast? Are you and Mr. Mooton? 
Yeah. Or, or, well, or that's already you, that's you know? already kind of happened, right? With the threat stuff. Yeah. Right. Like, does that count as a joke? Well, no, that counts as a legit threat. Like, well, now when did Dr. you notice Nuis- that they specifically said that, by the way, in the in the announcement? Yeah, but it was actually really weird because it was contradictory to what they just written before it. Yeah. Did you so notice please that? remember, even if you're just joking with your friends, right? Yeah, but the like, part that they wrote like right before they said, um. Uh, Okay, so we're also updating our moderation framework to pay close attention to the context and uh, and intent. And then after that, they say, remember that even if you're just joking. So wait, so does that mean the context and intent don't matter? Do you understand how these two sentences are like contradictory to one another? We are also updating our... No, we're also updating our moderation framework to pay close attention to the context and intent in addition to the words or actions used. I guess it depends on how you interpret it. So you're interpreting the first sentence as like, we're not going to take, like, if it's a joke, like, we get it. Yeah, because we're looking at and the context this- and intent. But then in the next one, it's like, remember, even if you're joking, you're still streaming to everybody. So it's like kind of a weird... Did you, did you feel reading through this document that once again, it's like leaving a lot of weasel way for... Kind of. Some stuff, though, want. I mean, they've written a lot of specific stuff in regards to, like, the sexual harassment shit. But I mean, some of it is ultimately still subjective, sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty spooky. Yeah, that talking shit about other streamers is going to be real weird. I'm not sure. Especially, like, streamers like Mitch Jones or whatever that make fun of other streamers. Or even me, I guess, to some extent. Like, to kind of, like, roast other streamers sometimes. Like, is that... And even if it gets taken out of context, too. Like, if you're about to play with Lily and you're like, God, she's so shit at this game. Like, can someone just clip that and not have oh, I don't even know if that what? stuff counts. Well, I'm going to hope that the harassment stuff is restricted to what they listed specifically. But maybe not, I don't know. Um, the protected classes thing. that Based on race, religion, sex, sexual orientation, age, d- disability, or whatever. Yeah. But that's so subjective, dude. Like, if you make fun of Lily's driving ability or something, <laughs> right? Like, 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 where like, are you? Are or you Dr. Stis respects, like, ching chong, whatever that shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, you... exactly. I mean, well, that's clearly bannable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, like, so. I, or, I just, here's I just... an interesting thing. What about when the view botting shit was really popular? Or, like, a themes like crypto shit? Is this going to be, um, is this going to be shit that you can no longer bring up anymore? Like, yeah. But not well, only not bring it up on Twitch, but bring it up anywhere. Like, I can't post about this on forums or on Twitter or on Facebook or anything. Like, I, or Reddit, nowhere I can talk about this. Like, yeah, I actually don't think the full implication of that particular thing has sunk into me yet because that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Like, any streamer that makes a YouTube video about sort of like the Twitch meta and what's going on. Hell, all mm-hmm. of live stream fail is basically shit like yeah, this. Yeah, or like, or, or somebody like, um, do you know who Glink is? No, who's that? So just a guy that he'll talk about like meta Twitch issues on his YouTube channel. Like, so now when we bring up these meta issues, you can't say anything bad about anybody ever now. That's just insane to me. What about like really yeah. polarizing people like Tyler One? Let's say that I'm somebody that is very holistic in the way that I play League, and I have a huge problem with the way that he conducts himself. Am I not even allowed to make a YouTube video and say like, this is a problem with toxicity in League and use Tyler One as a prime example? Like, is that harassment now? Like, that's insane. Well, I, I feel like it's going to be the status quo. People are going to probably be doing the same thing they were before. Most, uh, almost everyone is not going to get banned. And then occasionally when they feel like it, they'll ban someone and come back to these fucking rules. It's just going to be well, bullshit. It won't be well, evenly enforced. I mean, like, so... No, 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 we know that. But it, it, So go ahead. Sorry. Someone in chat said, it seems to me that saying negative things about people doesn't fit this definition of harassment they give, but you're already not allowed. So in the past, when I would talk about booby streamers, I would usually name drop. I don't know if you're even allowed to do that. Some people have told me that you're not actually allowed to do that. So like, you can't bring up... So if I'm talking about like, I don't like, you know, the way that some content on Twitch is really sexualized, I can't start naming streamers that fit that. That's actually like a you bannable... Definitely- you definitely can't. There was a there was a pretty decently large streamer who just got banned for that. Yeah, that exact thing. Yeah, so yeah. you're not actually even if you don't like do it in a harassing way, like and and I've name dropped before where I'll say like, oh, you know, like X streamer, you know, I'll I'll say something like X streamer, you know, is very sexually suggestive content. I'm not sure if that belongs to Twitch. Like that would count as like a harassment message. Like that would be harassment. Yeah, and, and what's what's worse is like who actually ends up dictating what constitutes that line that's what i'm most worried about right Mm -hmm. of course it's going to be fucking twitch and like it's going to be completely arbitrary based on how much they like you and how much value they think you bring yeah so someone like disrespect is going to be able to keep doing his like kind of racist chinese thing no way someone they don't like 
No, I think what happens is he gets kind of escorted into a dark room and says, "Don't do that shit again." Yeah, exactly. That's 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 what I think happens now. Um, I, I think it's a little bit different. Um, <sighs> they're they're gonna they're gonna black bag big streamers and they're gonna they're gonna pull them in and be like, "Dude, like, uh, you're cool." Careful, like, black um, bagging. That usually refers to like yeah, killing, yeah. like disappearing forever. Oh yeah, sorry. Are you okay. saying Twitch is going <laughs> to murder Doctor Disrespect? <laughs> <laughs> you're already oh. banned from Twitch. Fuck, you know, you know, okay, all right, this is, no, sorry, Twitch is going to politely escort uh, in, in a safe environment it, uh, various broadcasters into the, um, it, 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 and talk to them about that, yeah, they're gonna, they're not gonna. This just, like, this bothers me now, because, like, let's say that I'm in a, let's say that I'm in a Skype group, and I'm, and there's a streamer that I just don't like, let's just say, we'll just be real, real frank, I just don't like this guy, I think he's a huge piece of shit, and I'm talking shit about him in a Skype group, and that log gets leaked, is that a bannable offense now? Like, could I be held liable for that? Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, or, or, or in my Discord, like, yeah, like I don't, th I don't, I really don't like off-platform stuff. Oh yeah, know. in your Discord too. Yeah, I mean, you're basically on my DGG what? chat. Like, like, yeah. And don't forget, in there, it's saying you have to retroactively go in and delete any vods that do fuck this. That shit. Nobody's gonna do that. I'm just saying. Yeah, do, do you have an opinion on this? Um, this W two versus contractor meme. Were you here? Were you listening to us when we were talking about uh, that? What's the cliff notes? Dan no, doesn't believe in W two. He's a G. <laughs> Wait, I'm not allowed uh -oh. to say that. Never mind. Whoa! <laughs> flip, it. <laughs> flip it, Dan. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Twitch streamer too. You're fucked, me. Uh, oh shit! You're uh, right. shit. Oh dude, I'm just gonna like anytime I get into a debate with some shit, man. I'll just like make him a Twitch stream or some shit for. Oh shit! This is gonna be like the no way to control your your opponent. Like, yeah, talk shit about me. I'm a fucking. Wait, that's another. That's another point, actually, too, is that um. If uh, if you debate JF for example, and he started a Twitch channel and streamed on it once, is 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 he a Twitch streamer? Yeah, that's or, like that's or, an inter yeah. that's like that's a good like, meme. Like, say I start debating somebody, yeah. I really don't like him, and they're like, by oh, the way, <laughs> I have a Twitch stream. You're going down, motherfucker. Like, oh shit. What if fucking Trump? Hunters? What if Trump makes a Twitch stream and every single anti-Trump Twitch streamer gets their stream banned for talking <laughs> shit about Trump? Oh shit. What about this, uh, the section they added for unauthorized content sharing and, and copyright stuff? So that's spelling it out pretty clearly. Wait, I didn't see that. Where is Wait, that? what's that? Oh, uh, shit. It's right above additional content guidelines. Unauthorized content sharing and other copyright violations. This is basically, it says uploading, but for all intents and purposes. Wait, 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 can you link this? Where is this at? Yeah, um, yeah, it's here. It, it's on the it's on the uh, the specific community guidelines. I'm I'm sending it to you right now. Oh, I see it. Unauthorized uh, content sharing and other and yeah. other copyright violations. You can't play pirated games. Whoa, 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 whoa! Your account liable to DMCA takedowns by third-party rights holders? That's not does different. That, does that mean that other people other than the right holder can do it, or did I misunderstand? I think third-party rights holders are just everybody that has the rights holders. So that would mean, like, if. Uh... Again, going back to the reference from yesterday, like the Avengers movie, the ultimate copyright holder would be like MGM or whoever, but then that gets licensed okay. out to like yeah. 100 different people. But, uh, but all of like, those people that have always had the ability to file a DMCA, like, yeah, that's, I don't yeah, think this, that Yeah, this, this hasn't changed. No. Okay. Um, right, but I mean, it's, it's interesting, though, because if you think about this, now that they're doing it off platform, how does this partake to YouTube or something if they want to find a way? The whole. No, I that's only that's thing. only for the harassment thing. That's only for yeah, the harassment. They can't, thing. Yeah, the only thing that's off platform is the, is um, harassment, but that's still a major this issue. Is, they've added a couple things here that I don't know if they were here before. So playing pirated games, that's interesting. And then playing on unauthorized private servers. Does that mean to the whole World of Warcraft that you remember those servers? Were you not allowed to play? Oh, on those it, it, it definitely means that. In fact, that's probably what it's primarily. Yeah, but like, about. was that not allowed before? I know you weren't allowed to cheat um, before. They always ban for emulators. Um, like if you if you wait, had like what? A, yeah, yeah. If, if you had like an emulator and you showed it on stream, that was bannable for sure. That, like I, I, I played through all of like Chrono Trigger, or not all of it, but I played through the some of Chrono Tr Trigger and a couple other games. I thought using emulators is that really My not allowed? Face when you have a fucking emulator on your screen right fucking now. Wait, if yeah. What about Nox? You... Wait, what about Nox? My my Android emulator is this allowed? <laughs> so if you have if you show an emulator on a hold on, like let me clarify. Yeah. Uh, if you have if you have an emulator on your screen that is a game that you would have otherwise had to buy to play, okay? And you are you are skipping the process of purchasing that game by emulating it. That is a bannable offense and we had a situation with uh, the speedrunning community uh -huh. where that happened. 
Well, doesn't like the whole speedrunning community like typically play on emulators and shit though? Yes, but they don't show it on their screen because they they know this. <laughs> so so what what happens is they are playing the game, but they never show the emulator or talk about it. Oh weird. Yeah. This this has been a that's that's a long term meme that's been around for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah. Huh. What if you like own the game and you show that you own it like the background? That is fine. <laughs> no. Okay. If if you could if you could if you could if you could own the game and you own it and then play it, that's totally fine. Okay. Yeah. So it's. I don't Could know. Be man. going and uh, deleting all your YouTube videos after this with all your debates and everything. Do those count as harassment? I don't know. I, does he wait? So he has to delete vods on Twitch, but not like YouTube videos and shit. That would be really crazy if they said wait, that's not how it's worded well right? that might not be that's how it's worded but that, that off, really off should platform. yeah it should be the implication or i'm no, sorry no, no, what i'm saying is older older videos so i'm saying yeah. like um so, so let's say right now i make a video and i say x streamer is a piece of shit and that's uploaded on my youtube theoretically i should have to delete that video now no because that counts as no. off platform harassment no what's what is what is the um it does but it's um the community guidelines say that there's the grace period and that all of the vods on the platform have to be addressed but not they didn't say off platform. Is that right? I'm in the, I'm, not, I'm in the kitchen. Can you read it? Um. Well, no. It's it was referring to vods and clips that were on Twitch. Sure. But you so, think so that it's that okay would... that off platform harassment still exists then, if it's in the past? Yes. Okay. Why would they make you delete all your YouTube videos? <laughs> Why would they enforce shit off platform? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, it seems very different in terms of scale. Uh, not, I mean, not to me. Like, if he, like, for instance, like, some of the Brittany Venti or something, he's been, you know... Oh, some, I can't wait debates. to report her. I hope she talks shit about me again. I'm going to have all my dudes. I'm ready for that. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, they say it. You can just go through the VODs, and that's it, right? I mean, you could report that right there. But that, that's the whole thing we're talking about. It's like, both uh, so much of this shit already exists, and now they're saying that you have to go back and retroactively delete this shit. Yeah, that's, that's very crazy. weird. Yeah, that retroactive enforcement is very strange. Hang on one sec, I'll be right back. Are you gonna do any of that, or are you gonna skip all that? I don't I'm gonna assume it's not gonna be enforced. I, I, how can I go through every VOD? That's like hundreds and hundreds of hours of footage. I can't go back and watch everything and delete stuff that might be mean to people, like... It's fucking crazy that this shit, like, now that's a legitimate reason you could be fucking banned or something. It's like insane, though. I don't think they'll. I think they might. What I think will have play out in the real world, I hope. What I hope will play out in the real world is, um, somebody will, um, somebody will bring up something like a, like an admin or moderator will contact you like, hey, by the way, like we were looking at this stuff and some of it should probably go. Like you should delete this. Like that's probably what they would say. That's my hope, I guess, at least. How would you react if they told you you had to delete stuff from YouTube? What would that push you over the edge? Would you take a stand or would you cave? <laughs> I would, that would, I would go in the tank. I would have to think really hard about that. My gut tells me that I would be streaming on YouTube if that were to happen. That would be my gut. Um, my, my first thing would be to like unionize streamers. I think I could get a lot of streamers against that type of thing. I think, I would hope, I'm not sure. Well, I guess it depends on who wants to rock the boat, but that would be a massive overstep in boundaries. But then again, enforcing off-platform content stuff is already like... Yeah, I suppose. Fucking just a crazy situation, though, all this shit going on. Like, it, they're just setting themselves up to kind of, if they don't like you, have a legitimate, yep. on-the-paper way to ban you. Yeah. Seems like it, huh? So I see that you're still using uh, Nox Player right now. I'm skirting the rules a little bit. It's, it's an Android emulator. It's fine, right? Emulators are banned, my friend. No, he, he said like Android like Game Boys and Playstations and shit of stuff that you'd have to pay for anyway, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. One second. Damn, dude, all the drama streamers are fucked, guys. Mitch Jones, Greek God X. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't say Twitch names anymore. <laughs> my bad. No, that's not until the 19th. Just remind me to delete this VOD, okay? Or I reference somebody's name. What, what is this, uh, what is this, uh, like, live stream at 2 p.m.? What's that mean? If, um, if they're already gonna release this? They're supposed to be doing a live stream, probably where they, like, answer questions or do something... I don't know, maybe? For the new community rules? Yeah, I think, yeah. That's, what, that's where I thought the announcement was gonna be. Oh. So what, what questions do we want to get answered from there? What are the, the 
premium questions we need answered to ensure the survival of our favorite streamer, Destiny Senpai. Dude, like unless Destiny switches to like a freaking like pure gameplay stream where he's like, "Whoa, that was a that was a great play," you know, I I, don't, I think he's probably fucked. No, yeah, that's it. Like, it feels like it feels fucked. like you can't you can like never mention like you have to pretend that we're all like in separate world. Like I can never mention another streamer ever again, right? It feels yeah. like, it's kind of what it feels like, you know? It's very weird. You should make like a code language where only your viewers ref like know what streamer you're referring to. We <laughs> dog whistle. <laughs> I'll call um uh, when if I want to talk shit about Tyler one, I'll call him the um. Oh no, fuck! I was gonna say I could call him Green Ranger, because I think the Power Rangers the Green Ranger, but his name was Tommy, not Tyler. I think I don't know. <laughs>